Good evening. Hello, Nubia. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi, Kari. Okay. How are you? Muy bien, el día de ayer empezamos a ver el topic de weather and seasons, right? And for today, we're going to start also with the present continuous tense. So how was your week? How are you doing? Good. Yes. Or bad. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance and then we're going to start. Okay, today is 13. Alejandro Jose. Ana Consuelo. Ma Ana María. Elsa Cecilia. Present. Okay. Gabriela Carolina. Present. Excellent. Daria Donay. Present teacher. Great, Gary. Glenda Elizabeth. Present. Okay, Glenda. Dice Leonor. Henry Oswaldo. Okay, Glenda. Hilda de Los Ángeles. Idalia del Carmen. Jacqueline Lorena. Presente, Ticho. Ok. José Audis. Catherine Yanira. Que... Catherine Yanira, no. Catherine Andrea. Present teacher. Okay. Catherine Jamilet. Present. Okay. Crisia Elizabeth. Present. Okay. La escucho por allá a lo lejos. María Ana. Present. Excelente. María Cristina. Marilyn Ruby. Present. Excelente. Marvin Ruby. Present, teacher. Okay. Ella me acordé que había una caricatura, ¿verdad? De dos conejitos. 
Ruby and Rudy. A long, Come on, time, a long time ago, había una caricatura de dos conejitos que eran brothers y uno se llamaba Rudy y el otro es Ruby. Mauricio Salvador. No yet. Minor. Present teacher. Ok. Nubia Araceli. Nubia Beatriz. Present, Miss. Ok. Reina Inés. Stephanie Alejandra. Present, teacher. Ok. Tatiana Michelle. Present. Excellent. Great. So, let us start. Henry, are you here? Hello, hello. Okay. Catherine, Janira, Jose Audis, Idalia. No. Hilda. Grisel, Leonor. Ana María. Alejandro, ¿no? Ana Consuelo. Ok. Ok, so what do you remember about weather and seasons? How many seasons um, do we have in general? Not only here in El Salvador. How many seasons? Four. Okay, four seasons. Could you tell me the names? Winter. Fall. Okay. Fall. Spring. Spring. And? In summer. summer, summer. Okay, what season is the hottest? Regarding to the temperatures, what season is hottest? Caluroso. Ah, ¿cuál? ¿Cuál de las cuatro? La... Which one? Summer. Ok, summer, muy bien. Summer is hottest. And what type of clothes can you wear in summer? What type of clothes? Can you wear in summer? Because it's hot, what can you wear? Short. Shorts, Shorts. what else? T-shirt. T-shirt, okay. Mm -hmm. no sneakers. Sneakers. What else? Cup. A cup, okay, a cup, because it's very sunny, right? In summer, it's very sunny. Okay, what else? No more. Okay, what about fall? What about fall? What can you tell me about it? 
jacket or sweater. But first, tell me about the temperatures. Or oh, what are the, are the characteristics? What happened during fall? It's cold. It's cold. What else? Ayer le dijimos, remember. Try wind. To remember. Wind. 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 Ok, wind es viento, pero cuando estamos hablando como sería... Es como ventoso, teacher. Ajá, sería windy. Windy. Ok, como la, la característica. Ok, windy. Ok, what else? What about the color of the trees? What about the color of the trees? Brown and red. Brown and red. Okay. Okay. Now tell me about clothes that we can wear in fall or autumn. What about the clothes? Or the clothes that then that we can wear. Mm -hmm. Por ahí me dijeron una, una antes. Clothes. Sweater. Sweater. Okay. Could be, okay. What else? Tell me more. Cup. Mm, más que una cup, pero que también se puede usar on the head when it's cold. Oh my God. No se acuerdan de lo que vimos ayer. Also, you can wear on your head, but not cover to you from the sun. It helps you hot. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Se me estaban acabando las ideas. Hot. Yes. A hot. Okay. What else? Y en la parte de abajo. Pants. Pants. Ok. Pants. What else? No more. Boots. 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 Ok. Boots. Muy bien. Ok, vamos a ver con... Nos hace falta, quiero ver, ya vimos autumn. What, what about winter? Winter. What can you tell me about winter? What can you tell me about winter? Tell me about the temperatures. Tell me about the colors that we can see around. Okay. Say something about winter. What are, what are the characteristics? You are too shy. Yeah. Stephanie? Um, it is quiet. Okay. 
could be white because it can be. Yes. Ajá, pero ¿cómo se decía eso? Snowing. Snowing no. or... Snowing. Here in El Salvador, for example, we don't have snow, but... Raining. Rainy, okay, could be snowing or could be raining. Okay, what else? About winter, the temperatures. What about the temperatures? Are high temperatures or are low temperatures? No temperature. Low temperatures, correct. Under, well, here in El Salvador, um, at around 17 degrees, okay? That's cold here in El Salvador. But in Canada, United States, okay, the temperatures are under zero degrees, okay, because there are they have snow okay and the last is um spring okay what do you remember about spring nothing Casi no recuerdan nada de la clase de ayer. Were you sleepy? Spring, ¿cuáles eran las características? Warm things. Warm, things. Warm temperatures, ok. That's one. Warm temperatures. What else? Rainbows. Okay. What about the flowers? What happened with the flowers in, in um in spring during spring? Bloom. Yes, correct. The flowers bloom. Excellent. Ok, entonces eso es de lo que habíamos visto el día de ayer. Regarding to the weather and seasons. Ok. Vamos a hacer unos ejercicios. And then we are going to start with the present continuous. Okay. Do you have questions antes de que pasemos a los ejercicios? No? No questions. Hmm. Okay, Catherine, ahorita le pongo la asistencia. Okay, ready?
teacher. Yes. No sé si soy yo, pero eh, en ocasiones se pierde bastante el audio. Mm, I don't know. Tell me. What's the weather like? It's raining, it's sunny, it's windy, or it's cloudy? It's windy. Okay. I sorry. Lay <laughs> mal, but yes, it's windy. I'm wearing a hat and a scarf. It's it's cool. No okay. Ay, hoy sí la puse. Hoy sí puse la que me dijeron. It's cold. Temperatures. I'm wearing my raincoat in wellies. It's raining for me. Raining. Raining or stormy? Raining. Yes. It's sunny. I'm wearing. Sun hat. A sun hat. A sun hat and a sunglasses. Well, a pair of sunglasses. What's your favorite season? Summer. It's summer. summer. It's summer. It's summer. Yes. What's your favorite season? It's winter. It's winter. Are you sure? 100%. Okay, what's your favorite season? It's spring. Autumn, it's autumn. It's autumn, it's autumn. Look at the color of the leaves. What's your favorite season? Look at the flowers. It's spring. It's spring. What's happening? It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. What's happening? It's snowing. It's snowing. Okay. Teacher, what is drizzling? Yes, I know. Es granizo. In El Salvador, okay, thank you. We have we had that like twice. Okay. So this topic, I think it's easy. You can relate um, weather and temperatures with clothes, right? No habíamos visto el, la conversación, ¿verdad? No, teacher. Okay. Hi, everyone. And you also use Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's fall in the U.S. It's cloudy. It's snowing. It's it's very cold, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh no! What's the matter? It's snowing, and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating information that we just heard. Okay, questions about vocabulary?
What's the matter? Okay, what is the meaning of that? What's the matter? ¿Qué significa? Or what do you understand? ¿Qué sucede? ¿Qué pasa? Okay, yes. Como cuál es el problema? ¿Qué pasa? Okay. Questions? No? Okay, another way to say taxi, it's cab, cab. Okay, let's take a cab. Okay, taxi or cab, they are the same. Okay, we are going to practice the conversation. Okay, so I need two volunteers. Okay, Gary and Grisel, excellent. Oh no. What the matter? It is it's snowing and it's very cool. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. They're at home. Where did you cut? But my coat is war and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a take. Thanks, Julie. Tiene el micrófono apagado, teacher. Okay, let's take a taxi, a taxi. Okay, who do you thank you? Who do you think is Pat? Who is Pat? The in the in the picture, who do you think Pat is? And who is Julie? Who is Julie and who is Pat? No ideas. Marilyn? Pat. Mm -hmm. Pat is uh, uh, wearing clothes. Es la que está para brigada. Ok. What, what type of clothes? Ya vimos. La ro lo, ¿Cómo nombrar la ropa? What type of clothes? Okay, Pat is wearing what? Pat wearing a sweater and boots and pants and clothes. Okay. And a hat. A hat. Lo que lleva aquí? Car. Scarf, okay, a purple scarf, a pair of gloves. Okay, it's that's not a sweater. Sweaters are tiny, son como delgados. That's a coat, a coat, okay? What you say? ¿Cómo? What you say? El abrigo. Coat. 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 Thanks. Okay, and what about um what about Julie? Mm. No, I think it's Pat. Okay, bueno. The rest, are you agree with the Nubia description of who is Pat and who is Julie? Porque dice 
Are you wearing your gloves? Pregunta Julie. Y Pat dice no. Y according to Nubia, she's wearing gloves and hat and a coat. So, are you agree? ¿Cuál de las dos novias, teacher? Eh, Nubia Araceli, que acaba de... Bueno, lo que acaba de decir Nubia. ¿Are you agree with that? ¿Están de acuerdo? No. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> correct. Ok. Pat, what, what, eh, who is Pat? What is she wearing? Vamos a ver alguien más que me dé la descripción de Pat. Pat is wearing a red t-shirt, um, a black sweater, mm -hmm. and, uh, and one pair of high he black high heels. Okay, black high heels. And is she wearing pants? No. Correct information. O re respuesta completa y corrige la información. Is she wearing pants? No, she is not wearing a pants. Uh, she is wearing a skirt. A skirt. Okay, she's wearing a skirt. And probably she's wearing a blouse, not a t-shirt. Okay, t-shirts son como las deportivas. That's a t-shirt. Cuello redondo, manga cortas. En a blouse es como más femenina. ¿Ok? Muy bien, entonces, she is Pat and she is Julie. Ok, yes. Muy bien. Two more volunteers to uh, read the conversation one, one more time, please. No volunteers. Okay, Crisia and Jacqueline. Okay, Stephanie, thank you. One more. Okay, Nubia Araceli. Okay, go. Oh no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cool. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's. Take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Ok, thank you. Muy bien. Entonces, con eso, I think it's enough for this topic and we can move to the next. Ok, which is present continuous. Okay, questions regarding to weather and seasons? No questions? Nellis. Great. No, sure. Okay. So, let's see this, this tense. Okay. First, when we are going to use present continuous. Okay. El primer tiempo que hemos visto eh, ha sido el presente, ¿ok? Present. Cosas que están ocurriendo, ¿verdad? Como, but the difference between present 
and present continuous. Uh, these are things or actions that are happening at the moment in the very in the very right moment. Okay, they are happening now. And the the time or the 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 yes the time the, the quantity of time of these actions is very short so they are brief it, that's the difference between present and present continuous okay present it's it could be que el tiempo presente abarca mucho is como bigger but present continuous is only a short moment of the in the time in the present okay solamente en en ese preciso momento va a ser un present continuous ya si es después ya no es un present continuous okay entonces son acciones que están ocurriendo en el momento in the moment and also they short they they um Uh, tienen como una una duración corta una duración corta que no son muy prolongadas estas acciones sino que duran solamente un periodo corto de tiempo ok por ejemplo if it is raining it cannot rain a menos que sea una storm ok it cannot rain two or three days ok sino que llueve solamente un momento, unos minutos, a few minutes, ok, um, 15, 20 minutes, the most, ok, entonces esa sería la diferencia, and siempre vamos a utilizar el verb to be, que ya lo vimos, verdad, vimos que tenía tres formas, el verb to be, pero eh, además, del verb to be, necesitamos un verbo de acción. Entonces, en este caso, el verb to be pasaría a ser un verbo conector, o sea, que nos va a conectar el sujeto con la acción y dejaría de ser el verbo principal. Ya el verb to be ya no va a ser el que da el significado a mi oración, sino que el, más, el verbo más importante va a ser el que está dando la acción. ¿Okay? Recuerde que el verb to be tenía dos significados. Podríamos usarlo como un stated verb, un verbo de estado. ¿Okay? Eh, entonces, en este caso, me va a servir como a connector, como un puente between the subject and the main action or the main verb. Y el verbo principal o la acción principal en la oración tiene que ir con la terminación ing. ¿Ok? Entonces, esos son los cambios más significativos. Siempre digamos que el pronoun con el verb to be que corresponde, esos no van a tener variación. Siempre lo, se van a usar de la misma manera. I am, you are. She is, we are, they are, it is. ¿Ok? Pero vamos a agregar the main verb or the action verb. ¿Ok? She is wearing shoes. ¿Ok? You are... Um, you are wearing pants. ¿Ok? We are running we are talking we are talking y por lo general estas oraciones se complementan con um, ciertas palabras que nos indican que es la acción se está realizando en el momento como por ejemplo it is raining right now Okay. or she is talking with the principal 
right now. O sea, en este momento. Entonces, esas serían las características. Y así como tenemos the positive statement, okay, we have negative statements, okay, en los que vamos a agregar siempre el not. Okay, I'm not wearing shoes. I'm not speaking with anybody. Uh, you are not um, running enough. Okay. Y las contracciones. En este caso del verb to be, que ya, ya las habíamos visto. Esas se mantienen. Las contracciones siempre eh, serían de la misma manera. De como las habíamos visto anteriormente. Ok, hasta el momento, it's clear, el present continuous. Uh, teacher, making use ing in the verb. Yes, si es presente continuo, tiene que. Okay. Tiene que usarlo en, en, el, en el verbo principal. Esa es la característica del present continuous, que el verbo vamos a añadir la terminación ing, respetando las reglas que habíamos visto anteriormente mm, vimos estas reglas con ustedes de cuando vamos a agregar terminación yo creo que sí pero confirmen Liz. creo que les mandé un link o no Tell me. No. 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 Ok. No. Vale, veamos las reglas rapidito. Hay ciertas reglas cuando vamos a agregar un suffix. O sea, cuando vamos a cambiar la terminación de nuestro verbo. Estas reglas le van a servir ya para cualquier sufijo o cualquier terminación que usted le vaya a agregar al verbo. Ya sea cuando vean los tiempos en pasado, que van a agregar ed, cuando vean adjetivos, que van a agregar er, etcétera, 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 que van a ver más adelante. Así que, vaya, principalmente eh, las reglas eh, serían las siguientes. If, for example, if I have a short verb, la in, like run, ¿ok? That's a short verb. Si sí estoy compartiendo la, la pizarrita, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. It's a short verb. It only has one vowel. Tiene solamente una vocal and ends in only one consonant. One vowel, one consonant. Antes de yo poder añadir el ing, Okay, I need to double the last consonant. Okay, lo escribo doble. Okay, I double the last consonant and then I add the ing form or the, the ing um, suffix. Okay, ese sería para el caso de los verbos cortos. Una sola vocal, una sola consonante. Okay, what happened? Um, for example, if the verb ends in why. Bueno, siempre hay algunas excepciones. But fly, fly and play. Okay, déjeme buscar more examples. Dale, teacher. Which one? Yes. Which one? ¿Cuál? 
death, the muerte. Ah, uh, death. Oh, But that, that's a noun. Eso sería un noun. Con... Bye. Here are more examples. Ahorita se los comparto. Um, okay. If the word ends in E, en una silent E, porque la silent E es cuando esta no se dice, sino que es como que se omite. That's a silent E. Okay. Como make, take. Okay. Pareciera que la palabra termina en la K y que la E no se dice. O sea, cuando, te, cuando es así, cuando tienen esa terminación, you have to drop, dice, the letter E and add the ING. Okay. Entonces, en make, quitaríamos la E. Y ahí vamos a agregar a continuación de ing ending. Ok, make, making. Take, taking. Aquí está lo que le decía de que si son cortas y solo tienen one vowel, que okay, en one consonant, you have to double the last consonant. Run, running. Get, getting. Y... Uh, la, las demás, dice, eh, solamente vamos a añadir el ING. Okay, pero así como le decía yo, luego van a ver otras terminaciones, ¿verdad? Que para eso también le van a servir las reglas y hay otras también reglas que van a ver más adelante. Pero ahorita digamos que aplicarían estas. Ok, to drop the E and Double de las consonantes. Esas serían las que aplicarían ahorita. Yes, Henry. Recuerdo que en algunas cambian. Like, por ejemplo. Borrow. Ok, spell it, please. B O R E D aburrido bored okay but this an adjective this is an adjective is not a verb ah uh, okay uh -huh. ah usted decía boring no bored así como lo puso de aburrido. Boring. Ajá, cabal I cambia. Am, I am boring. Okay. But this is an adjective. Es como decir, I am happy. Okay. Este no sería un verbo, sino un adjective en este caso. Igual boring sería un adjective. Pero en... Eh, oh, oh, eh, digamos que es diferente because it's an adjective but um, I am boring mm -hmm. but it's not a verb solamente aclarar porque eh, ustedes van a identificar un verbo si lo pueden conjugar entonces pero Board no lo podemos conjugar, sino que necesitamos agregar el estoy. Entonces, o estaba, pero no directamente el verbo en sí. Boring. Entonces, por eso quedaría como un adjective. Ok, let's do some examples. Vale, dijimos entonces que el... Present continuous y va a empezar con el subject plus 
the verb to be plus the verb in ing form plus the complement. Okay, give me example. Vaya, voy a hacer el mío primero. I am running very fast right now. Okay, now you can give me more examples, please. Can you give me more? Hoy se han venido callado. What happened? Give me examples, please. Pueden ser orales, escritos, como sea, but say some, something, please. Ya me están afligiendo. They are studying more. They are... Vaya, veamos, aquí vamos. They are studying. Studying now. ¿Así? Yes, sí, sí. Ok, they are studying now. Yes, great. More examples. I eating the dinner. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I am eating my dinner. Excellent. At the moment. Esa es otra. Otra terminación. Yes, I Henry. Playing, I am playing football. I am. Wait. Vamos a ponerlo contractado. I'm playing. Soccer, I, I think. Me la ganaron, pero, but I eat him very late. Okay. I'm, uy, I'm eating very late. Hey, no se vale, ¿por qué la estoy escribiendo yo? Eh, Mariana. <laughs> I washing my cell phone. Washing or watching? Watching. Say it again, please. Watching. <laughs> Toda la oración. I watching. Yo oigo que le falta el, oigo que le falta el verb to be. I'm, I'm, my, my I am or oh, I'm I'm washing right now my cell phone. Okay, I am watching my cell phone right now. Okay, Stephanie. She's talking in the park. Okay. She is talking in the park. Great. I left off to my work right now. I left, left off. Uh, I, uh, I, I left. Mm, no, left es pasado. To my work, left off. Oh, my God. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Left es pasado. Okay. Regálenme ejemplos con otro pronombre que no sea I. He is cooking in my house. Okay. He is cooking. Mm. 
at my are, house. They are watching TV, television. Okay, muy bien. They, they are watching television. Okay, yes. Con it. They are eating late. No, con, con el pronoun it. Marvin. We are looking at the example that, that they'll tell teacher. Okay. We are looking. Y cabal que only looking como el chinito. We are looking at the examples. Eh, Marilyn, un ejemplo usando el pronoun it. Catherine, Yanira, Tatiana. No se me escucha. Are you listening? They are playing game. They are, okay. They are playing a game. Okay. Yes. We are at she eat a fat running. She, mm, she eat. 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 No, is. Is. She is a fast runner. A fast. Uh -huh. mm, she mm. is running. Podría ser. Bueno, es como la que puse ahí. She is running fast. Si yo digo she, o sea, si puedo hacerla. She is a fast runner. Así sería la otra forma. She is a fast runner. Es una corredora veloz. Y la otra sería, she is running fast. Ella está corriendo rápido. ¿Ok? Muy bien, questions de... Ahorita hemos visto solamente de structure. Mañana vamos a hacer ejercicios. But, do you, do you have questions? Vamos a estar fit. For tomorrow, why? En un día. Por los ejercicios. Ah. Ok, I got it, I got it. Yes. A lot, a lot of exercises. You still remember to work on the platform? Practice and... Creo que lo siguiente eran los the exercises, pero lo vamos a dejar para mañana. Okay, tomorrow. The, the stories, these short stories, okay, about what is happening, what is happening. Que okay, dejaremos eso para tomorrow, así como las yes no questions, siempre utilizando present continuous. Okay, so if you don't have questions, only let me check attendance again. Ah, muy bien, dice Jacqueline, you are listening to the class right now. Excellent. You are working very hard. 
Yes, you are eating pizza. Yes, they are good examples. Yeah, they are correct. Okay. Alejandro, Ana Consuelo, Ana María. Grisel. Present. Hilda. Idalia. José Audis. Ma Mauricio. Reina. Okay, that's all for today. See you tomorrow, people. Y mañana almuerce sopa de perico, por favor. Because I need you to participate and talk more in the class. Okay? See you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye, bye teacher. Good evening. Goodbye, get rest. Goodbye, goodbye. Good mañana nos van a poner mucho plática en clase. Okay, okay, I hope so. But in English, at least in English. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, see you.